you know guys I'm really really happy that Marvel is putting the spotlight again on Wanda Scarlet Witch and I also want to feel I also want to give Marvel credit because it kind of feels like are they kind of retconning some things minorly retconning things like for example is Wanda and Pietro related to that they finally announced that they're they're the children of Magneto or not because there are times and I'll explain later but that's what we're here to talk about guys we're here to talk about issue number two of Scarlet Witch um, Steve Orlando and the great talented Sarah Pacelli does the artwork uh, this was a fun fun issue this is Wanda with her I guess you could say stepdaughter you know uh, Viv Vision so Viv has come through the red door as you all know the the uh, last door I said the red door the last door is basically anybody who comes through that door they are meant to basically talk to Wanda and in the first issue we saw basically the door opened and who stepped out the vision the daughter of vision she is there and asking for some help so we find out that she's been having some bad dreams yes the synthesoid is having bad dreams and she Wanda is here to help she's like okay I will help you no matter what she talks she asks you know how is your father you know she Viv even says I went to my father and he and he, Wanda's just like well your father always is gonna think in analyticals and everything like that I let me help you you know Darcy is there and kind of wondering like okay do you even drink tea like and she's like yeah I can drink it you know things like that which is very interesting and you also get to see you know Wanda talk about you know how you know she feels a connection to Viv because in a sense you are the daughter of my ex-husband keeping that and your mother your mother who died from Tom King's uh, you know run read that uh, her brain patterns came from me so I'm kind of like your stepmother and Viv is kind of like well that's nice to you know thank you for acknowledging my mother but you know she's almost like kind of distancing herself like you know I you know uh, you kind of but it's nice to hear you say that so when so basically, Wanda and Viv, they enter the dream zone, basically. Uh, I want to make sure I get it right. Um, they enter, I want to make sure. Uh, they do enter, the, it's like a dream realm, it's like a dream. Uh, uh, dreamscape that's basically it and first of all once again Sarah Pacelli's artwork look at Viv she's just great looking look at that art Sarah Pacelli just just really I'm telling you she Wanda the way she draws Wanda she makes Wanda hotter than she's Wanda's just pretty it's just like my god like you just every panel of her art is just beautiful. You love it so much. So when they enter the dreamscape, basically, uh, they enter where where Viv is having these nightmares. We see somebody who is there. We see the antagonist of this story, Dream Queen, and I couldn't remember, but. The Dream Queen, the daughter of Nightmare. I didn't even know Nightmare had a daughter. I, I, I was like, whoa, Nightmare's got a daughter. 
and she is she feeds off of agony and nights mares things like that and we get a back and forth a pretty decent battle between Wanda and Dream Queen and there are many times it looks like Dream Queen has the upper hand because you're fighting in her world and it's like you know she's going on she's just laughing at Wanda like your, your, your puny powers do nothing to me and then Wanda's just like oh really and okay we'll see and there's even a point where um, Wanda literally encases her in like this like ruby quartz lion it was really cool I was like oh shoot that was pretty cool um, but we see that in the end yeah she, Wanda's she's, she's no joke look at her she got Dream Queen right there and you know Dream Queen is like saying to her how, how dare you you know you can't keep me from my sustenance that's this is what I do like almost like who, who died and made you and so she wanted to just go like almost like makes this like bar like it looked like a bar of soap like and says here you go and it says that's all my pain and all the agony of losing I'm lost here chew on that and you'll you'll be fine I promise you you know she's literally telling uh there, see, it's like right here. It looked like a, a squash. She, and it's basically Wanda says that. And so we got Dream Queen basically. She, later on, we see her, she's eating it. And then all of a sudden, she's like, like. And so Wanda basically, Wanda says, Yeah, I gave her agony, but it's a, it's not my agony, it's something else. And I'm like, She said it was poetic justice. That was a good story. It was a really touching story. It was really nice to see Viv and Wanda together and kind of really feel like they, there is uh, basically Wanda letting um, Viv know you, you have, you I, I do care about you. I do have a sense of love for you. You may not be my daughter, but technically you are my stepdaughter and you know, if you ever need my help, just come back. I, I'll help you. Things like that. So that was really fun. Um, and it ends again with Wanda still trying to figure out that the amulet that she got from the first, uh, for the first issue. You see, she's still trying to figure it out. And we get more into what the hell is going on. In the what is Darcy hiding? Darcy is hiding something, and we see at the end, we see the end of the bar with no name, which is where all the villains go. Um, there's a fight going on, and we, they mention her name. There's another story in here, too, a, a backstory, uh, like a, a, another story, and it's got Wanda and Storm comes to her, Storm comes to her, uh, her, her, her shop, and it's really cool you know it's not done by the same artists or writers but here you got storm you know you know showing love to wanda and you know saying like we're glad that we we got you we resurrected you all this stuff yeah she was resurrected i'm sorry uh and then they go on like a little quest and they're dealing with water spirits and things like that and it was fun it was a short story but it was fun it was just fun to see Wanda and you know Storm just kind of doing a girls night out or something like that the next issue which is really going to be because the next issue is about Wanda and Lorna getting together and which I will say the two sisters um, I'm gonna keep saying it I don't care what anybody says Wanda is still the daughter of Magneto Pietro is still the daughter the son of Magneto they are the brother and sister of Lorna Dane, aka Polaris, who is considered the only daughter. I I still will not. I still hate that Marvel did that. Tried to retcon <coughs> over 40 years of acknowledging that Wanda is a mutant, Pietro is a mutant. They're the daughter of <coughs> Magneto, just for no particular reason outside of. 
something that shouldn't even matter. But outside of that, this was good. Steve Orlando still is doing his good job as ever with Wanda and the Scarlet Witch. You know, Scarlet Witch. I was about to say Wanda and the Scarlet Witch. Wanda. Sarah Pacelli is still just, just killing it. And, and she's Italian, so I'm molto bene indeed because I will always love and admire Sarah Pacelli's artwork. I've met the woman, lovely woman, great artist. She, I'm telling you, she makes Wanda. You look at when she's, you look at Wanda and the expressions from Wanda's eyes, just the way you, from every panel, seeing like, yeah, look how Wanda walks. You can tell she walks with. You know, the hips going slide to side, you know. There's a little saying about women who, whose hips sway side to side, and it's kind of dirty, but I'm gonna talk about that. Outside of that, yeah, she just makes Wanda look so pretty, and I'm just like, man, Wanda's beautiful. Even when she's in costume, like right here, look at that. It's just beautiful. Um, I'm interested in seeing more of Dream Queen. Like I said, I didn't even know, didn't even know Nightmare had a daughter. So it's really, I hope we see more of that character. That was interesting. But outside of this, this is a great standard issue. Once again, um, if you, uh, like I said, I will be putting the, the digital code up on my Twitter account um, prior to, after this video goes, is aired, is up. But outside of that, this was a, a really good issue again. Uh, I'm gonna continue to read uh, Scarlet Witch, Steve Orlando, Mr. Orlando. Keep doing your thing, brother. Outside of that, you guys take care. If you have picked up Scarlet Witch number two, tell me what you thought about it. And with that being said, I am out. Monster is knocked out over there. No, oh, you're up. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, you guys take care.